All right, what's going on, everybody? This is Peter Renna back with this week's edition of Dollar Bin Digging. I write this article over at comicbookinvest.com, and uh, this is my accompanying video. Uh, I've been playing with the format a little bit here and dropping this uh, probably right here on Christmas Eve, maybe Christmas Day, depending if I get it done in time. But just want to get this out ahead of time because I'm not going to be able to do a toy video this week due to the holiday. I just got too much to do here at home. So I'm going to crack open my uh, Mad Elf here. Got my Vader Star Wars shirt on and uh, just get into this list because I decided to do a nice little Christmas themed uh, episode here. So 2020 has been a pretty rough year, I got to admit, for everybody. Uh, I mean, good, bad, but just pretty rough in general. So I thought I'm going to do a Christmas themed episode. Let's do a little bit of a darker Christmas themed episode to go along with this you know, bit of a darker beer than I usually do. So. I decided to do some of these weird Christmas theme books that, again, lean a little bit more towards the uh, the darker edge than uh, than normal. So, uh, strap in and let's just get right into this list. Please like and subscribe to my channel as well as uh, Tales from the Flipside, where I'm putting this up there as well. And uh, yeah, hopefully you enjoy this content. And let's just keep it rolling. All right, so first book here, we're gonna go with. I'm sure you've guys seen it. This one's in dollar boxes, you know, forever. It's overprinted. It's the Lobo Paramil Paramilitary Christmas Special. I Iconic cover. I know you've all seen it. You all probably already have one. And if not, you know, go grab an extra one for a buck because there are tons of them out there. This was, you know, released at the height of Lobo's popularity there. And just Lobo was everywhere. And this was still just a great book. I mean, it's, you know, not for everybody. It's definitely not for kids. Uh, there's not a lot of, uh, you know, graded copies. There's 20 in the... 9.8 on the census that I found, and it's only like a you know a seventy dollar nine eight was the last sale I saw back there in November, and you can find this book you know if you want to buy it online and you don't want to do with the dollar bin digging, it's like two fifty to twenty bucks. I don't know who's going to pay twenty bucks, but you can get this still pretty cheap. It's pretty gruesome. Just the art alone is fantastic. You see these creepy looking little elves, and uh, just I had to censor a lot of the images here because yeah. You know, Kids might view this. This, this is. I'm gonna release this during the day. It's a Christmas theme video. I don't want them seeing all the def gruesomeness, but you know, Lobo really goes after these elves, uh, pretty hardcore. So, yeah, it is what it is. Uh, I don't know. It just reminds me of just all that over the top, you know, violence of the '90s, and it's just again right there at the height of it. And you know, Mortal Kombat style and all. This was, you know, what we had back then, and it, I loved every minute of it. Brutality. This Lobo book, again, you know, this tougher look at Santa, and uh, it's just pretty cool. So, I don't know. That was my first book, you know, to kick us off with this little bit of a darker Christmas episode. Ah, still don't know if I'm ready to switch over to these winter beers, but we'll give it a try. All right, so for our next book, uh, what did I go with next? Uh, Punisher. Surprisingly, Punisher has a little bit of a history here with the holidays. Uh, I first decided to do this, just the Red uh, Red Xmas, as the book that I'm just going to kind of highlight. But there was also another uh, Punisher Christmas special, I believe, the year before. And then there's a couple of holiday specials, I think, even earlier than that, that you can check out. But the Red Xmas book, there's not a lot on the census. There's only three. And uh, I haven't even found any graded sales or any up for sale. So those are just got to be hardcore Punisher fans. Probably like my man, Comic Man Andy, who might have a copy of that 9-8 just because they love the Punisher. But pretty cool cover. I mean, you look at that. I mean, a dollar for, for this cover alone, just pick it up. You know, it's just great. Teixeira, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. I'm going to be doing the baseball players. But Mark Teixeira's cover is just fantastic in this. Uh, I'm not sure who did the interiors on this one. But, again, fantastic cover. You can still find this one, again, pretty cheap if you just want to buy it online, don't want to dig. But you can probably find it in those dollar bins. And like I said, outside of just this Punisher Christmas special, which you can see, it, it's pretty rough. I mean, you got... You got Frank there pretending to be, you know, Santa here in one little bit, and he rips it off, and he's just mowing down, you know, people in the street. I mean, that's, you know, it's Christmas for you, right? But Punisher's always a fun character. And like I said, there was those holiday specials that were released uh, a few years earlier. Pretty cool cover. I like the one with the uh, the ornaments. The ornament ones is probably pretty fun. And the other ones, they don't really scream Christmas as much. More just, they just look like regular Punisher covers. But that, uh, that ornament one was probably my favorite of that batch. But... I don't know. Any of those, find them for a dollar. Just grab them just for fun, you know? So moving on to our next book, because this also has a fantastic cover. Up next, I've got Blade number four. Now, I've covered this Blade run a few times because these uh, Marco 
Jurdovic. I'm, I'm from pronouncing that right. These cover this cover run was fantastic. There's a lot of great ones in this run, and this is just another one. Look at that Santa. That Santa is beastly. Like he's just going right at it. It's just it's gorgeous in my opinion. And the interiors aren't bad either. I mean, I'm not a huge Howard Shaken fan, but yeah, I kind of dig the inside of this. I mean, it is what it is. Again, you can see this demonically possessed Santa inside this story, and you know, Blade just you know goes at him. Again, have to censor it just in case, you know, anybody doesn't want to see the gruesomeness underneath, but it's, you know, it is what it is. This is a pretty tough story. It's pretty cool. And if you want to read this type of thing, go grab it. A buck. I'm telling you, this Blade Run is a great run to go find on the cheap. Again, even if it's just for the covers alone. Uh, again, this is not something that's going to go for a lot of money. You're not going to make a ton if you find one. I think there was only one that I found on the census in 9.8. So, you know, it is what it is. But there is somebody listing a 9.4 for $145 or so. So, I mean, it's rare. So if you find a high-grade copy, maybe it's worth you uh, you slabbing and uh, putting one out there yourself. I don't know. But, again, pretty cool cover. Definitely cool inside and a fun little story right here for the holidays. Which will take us to our last official pick of this list. And this one I didn't really know much about. I just kind of stumbled across it. And this is a Marvel Zombies take on A Christmas Carol. Yeah, I would not have thought to put those two things together either. It's just, again, I didn't read it, so I don't know exactly what's inside of it. But just going off these covers alone, this looks dark, dark, dark. You can frighten people. I mean, look at these covers here. It, it, they're gorgeous. They're gorgeous in their own weird little way. <laughs> like, my favorite has to be issue three. I mean, just look at that. I mean, I got somebody the ghost of a uh, Christmas past, I guess. Just gluttonous, just pieces of flesh just in his hands and little cherubs just chewing at him. Just, it's just creepy. Creepy. Creepy stuff. I don't know what to tell you. It, it's... It's definitely definitely a different take. Uh, I'm a huge fan of Scrooge, and I love the regular Christmas story you know storyline. So I am kind of anxious to find out what's in this. I got to go find these myself. And uh, there's also a trade paperback too that uh, you can also grab. In addition, I think the first issue might also have a variant that's uh, that's out there. So just something to keep an eye out for. Uh, you know, if you're out there hunting and you 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 know are looking for something like this. I mean, by the time you get to it, you know Christmas will be over. But it's still just kind of a, a fun little book that you can go and grab. For this one, there's no 9.8s for at least the first issue. I didn't look up all the issues. But the first issue is no 9.8. There's only one 9.6 uh, on that census. And, you know, the Raws, again, it's, it's pretty cheap. You can get, for whatever reason, the first issue is listed from one ninety nine up to 50 bucks. I don't know. People can list things of whatever they want. So there it is. But if you want to get the whole set, one through five, there, there's a couple, I think, up to like $25. And if you just want to get the trade, I think you can get that for much, much cheaper. So if you just want to read the story, you can definitely do that. And it's not going to cost you a ton, but yeah, just keep an eye out. You'll find this stuff. It's out there. So those are my four picks for just some dark, dark Christmas tales. I know they kind of remind you a little bit of Silent Night, Deadly Night type of, you know, type of deal, but I can't leave you that way. I can't leave it just with all dark. So just for fun, I figured we needed one little fun light book to kind of wrap us up here. So I went with the Save by the Bell holiday special here because, you know, Zack Attack. How, how can you go wrong with Save by the Bell? It, it's just fun stuff. Uh, great show. Just fun. It's Christmas season. Let's all just enjoy it. Spend some time with the family. I know it's going to be weird. It's going to be different. But, you know, we'll all get through it. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. I'm going to keep doing some more. And uh, have a happy holidays. And I'll see you guys. Yeah, next week.